Alex, how fitting. I mean, I'm sure you guys kind of got charged up with hearing the crowd, even though it was booze against Jack Eichel, but to have Peyton Krebs score the opening goal and then you to kind of seal it, I'm not sure if you could draw it up any better. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I mean, you might talk about the booze and stuff like that, but honestly, we heard a lot of cheers. We heard a lot of Buffalo chants. Uh, the crowd was on our side. They really were, and uh, it was electric tonight. It was a phenomenal feeling, and to, to get a win in front of that big of a crowd is something that really goes a long way, and we want to keep feeding off that energy and uh, build on that momentum and keep that going. So we hope to see all those uh, all those fans uh, back in the building here soon. That was a really physical game in a lot of ways, not even including the fights. I mean, that seems to be part of the identity you guys are forging as a group, whether it's sticking up for each other or just being harder to play against. Is that something you guys are really trying to, to do, especially teams like this? Yeah, I mean, we're not like the biggest team, the most physical team, but um, play against teams that try to come in and try to bully us, and they got to know that we're not going to back down or we're going to be physical, we're going to push back. And, um, you know, there's two great fights, Hades and Fitzy. Um, great job by them. Uh, we had a lot of a lot of guys show some serious character. Uh, I mean, it was a, uh, Don gave us a long list in the locker room, and it probably could have went on for another ten minutes with uh, the sacrifice that guys made the night. Uh, and we need more of that. And it's it really showed, and it really uh, gave us a lot of energy to go out and get that win for those for those fans who who really wanted the bad too. You could tell. Just give it this experience a night like tonight give you a taste of what it could be like here. No, oh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, our team showed a lot of maturity tonight. Uh, we were up one nothing going into the third. They they put a lot of pressure on us. Uh, I think late in the second period, and you know what, we didn't back down. We didn't give them too many crazy chances. Andy obviously made some really big saves, and uh, so much poise and um, in the net there it gives the guys a lot of confidence in front of them. But uh, to be able to, I mean, they even tied it up, and to be able to go back out there and. Uh, Oli Notch in the game winner. That was that was a huge, obviously a huge boost, but just shows the character and the, the maturity that's um, starting to come with our team. So I, I think that was a huge win, uh, especially obviously it was against uh, my old team. Felt really good, but uh, it was yeah, like I said, showed a lot of character maturity. What's yeah, it like when you're on the? Oh, go ahead. Jim. Yeah, to seal it. What's going through your mind? I, I really can't even tell you what happened. I, <laughs> I uh, we had a we I knew that the defenseman was going to rim it. Um, obviously, uh, seeing that he was on his um, he's, uh, on his backhand there, uh, I wanted to apply as much pressure as possible and got a lucky bounce. And after that, I kind of blacked out. I just shot the puck as hard as I could, honestly, on net. And luckily, it went in. So that one felt good for sure. What's it like when you're on the other bench and hearing, like, you know, a guy get booed like that? Uh, I don't. I don't really, yeah, that's not, um, I'd rather not talk about that, honestly. Yeah, that's, okay. yeah, I'd, I'd rather focus on our team and okay. uh, the win. Thanks. Alex, yeah. regarding the energy in the building tonight, probably unfair to ask a guy like Peyton Krebs who's new to the whole thing, but, but you've, with your history and, and knowing what you know about the Sabres, what would you say about that, capturing what you had here tonight from an energy standpoint and how, what that was like to play in front of a crowd like that at home? Yeah, it goes a long way. Um, obviously, I played four years in Vegas, and uh, we had a really good crowd there. Uh, really energetic, a lot of uh, a lot of noise. Um, it was a lot of fun to play in front of them, but they also gave us a lot of energy and momentum. And to see that tonight from the uh, Sabres fans was a phenomenal experience. And I, I think uh, guys are getting really excited to hopefully – the more and more fans see how we're tr really trying to turn this thing around and really putting in the work. And obviously the wins aren't always coming right now. We're still a young and developing team, but down the road, I think we'll be packing this barn and having a lot of fun playing in front of all those fans. From a sports psychology standpoint, is there something to, especially younger players being exposed to this and seeing you know, there's a, a cause and effect if we come out and, play, and not that you're going to have you know, Jack Uncle returning on a nightly basis, but if you go out and some things that you can do to draw that out. Yeah. Uh, well, first, w winning helps. Winning gets a lot, lot more fans in. That's that's pretty obvi obvious. But I, I think we've we've definitely seen 
a jump over the past couple months and uh, just by work ethic, just by going in there and sacrificing because honestly Buffalo is a blue collar town and we want to show and show that we're a blue collar team and we will sacrifice and we'll go and outwork our opponent and try to get the win no matter what. And uh, like I said, our, our team showed a lot of maturity tonight and I think the fans really saw that. And uh, it was unbelievable to see Andy get his 300th win. And I mean, he saw how many thousands of people stayed afterwards too to congratulate him because they really, they really understand hockey here and they really understand how big of a feat that was. So uh, it's really special. It's a really special town to play in, and I'm just excited for the future. How much is that milestone on your mind as a team? Is it unspoken? Are you talking about that as the game's going on, or even days preceding? Not, I uh, mean, not really. Today. Obviously, we would have liked to get, get it for him a couple, couple games ago, but. Um, uh, we all knew about it. Um, it was kind of talked about a little bit in our locker room and stuff. But you know, it's uh, Andy's the type of guy that's going to come in and give it, uh, give it his all. And uh, you really want to work for a guy like that. You really want to play in front of a guy like that. That um, you know, he's played in the league. I think he's played pro hockey for I think he said 21 years. So. Uh, he's been around the block, but he comes in every single day and works hard and really shows up. So uh, he's the ultimate pro and the ultimate teammate, and it's really fun and easy to play play with a guy like that. Victor Olsson was uh, itching for a goal all night. Can you talk about his overall play? Yeah, I think um, honestly the past few weeks have been the best hockey I've seen him play since I've been here. And uh, you see the confidence coming, and he's a shoot first guy, and we really want him to shoot because his shot is so lethal. And uh, but I, I've seen him get more open more times. I think he's really starting to work away from the puck a lot more, and it's, it's just really good to see him get a goal tonight. I think it was huge. It was our bench was going crazy. It was it was a great time to get a goal. That's uh, that, that's definitely true. But um, Ole has been really working hard, uh, especially as of late, and it's really shown in uh, scoring a couple goals lately. Alex, now that you're a few months into things here, is it still kind of surreal playing your old team and that you are part of this huge Jet Bible trade to come home, basically? Yeah, uh, I think it was a little bit more surreal going back to Vegas. It was a little different being in the opposing locker room. and uh, This whole organization had been so welcome to me. I already feel like family. Um, so it's been really easy on me to for the with the transition and obviously with Peyton and any other guy that we've uh, got along the way here I think that we have a really good core and uh, playing against the old teams fun there's a couple laughs on the ice and yesterday saw them out pra- before their practice and stuff so uh, it's good to see those guys but it's definitely good to get a win uh, against them thanks guys yeah.